Anandiliakwa is a remote island that lies 50 kilometres off the eastern coast of Arnhem Land. It is known for its pristine natural and marine environment and is home to the largest hawksbill turtle rookery in the Northern Territory. Sea Shepherd is here to support the Anandiliakwa land and sea rangers in the vital work they do to remove foreign plastics from the shoreline and their cultural lands. My name's Kirsten, I'm the ranger coordinator for the east of Groot Island, based in Umbacumba. As a ranger group, we have heaps of tasks that we have to do, historical site maintenance, um, um, we do a lot of marine debris work, ghost net collection, and that consumes a lot of our time. I wanted to come and crew on this campaign for one reason, and that is I've heard so much about marine debris and how it's affecting um, the oceans, and particularly in remote locations. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to see it firsthand. We face challenging conditions with strong winds causing tidal surges and making some areas of the island inaccessible. These winds push the lighter plastics up to 100 metres back into the dunes, causing a vast debris field for us to clean. I've never seen as much rubbish uh, in such a small um, distance. Sometimes we just sit there and in one meter square we can just fill up an entire bag of, uh, of plastic pollution so that's about uh, seven kilos so that is extremely concerning um, but that's the reality of it. Seeing all the plastic on the beach is extremely depressing um, for myself and for our traditional owner rangers and traditional owners on Groot Island. I don't think that, um, generally speaking, Australians and, and people in the big cities like Brisbane have any concept of the level of marine debris on the beaches in these remote locations and would be horrified if this was on their doorstep. Um, I think we'd see a lot more action from people if they were aware of the problem and could see the scale of it on these beaches. Anandiliakwa is home to critically endangered sea turtles that are under constant threat from the inundation of plastic debris. This cleanup has removed the plastic load from the beaches, providing a safer environment for marine turtles to nest in. Together with the rangers, we've been able to remove four tonnes of trash. That's over 100,000 items and of this, 93.5% of this has been plastic. It'd be amazing if single-use plastic did not exist at all. Um, if we could, um, you know, track the rubbish where it's coming from and, and eventually stem it from the top instead of trying to control the issue on the ground. It is unfair that the Anandiliakwa people are left to clean up after the plastic industry. Plastic producers need to step up and come up with better end-of-life solutions for their products so they are not burdening remote communities.